Hello everyone, it's Natasha. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can have your complete spelling curriculum for third through 12th grades for all your children for only $15 total. So let's get started. This is Phonetic Zoo. It is by IEW. Now I have shared many videos about Phonetic Zoo. Well, not many, but a couple. I have one on the spelling board, which I have here, and I have one on actually how Phonetic Zoo works. So if you're interested in Phonetic Zoo, take a look at those videos. But in this video, I'm giving you another much, much cheaper alternative to still use the Phonetic Zoo program, but for only $15 for all the spelling your kids will need in third grade and up. So basically you're wondering, how is that possible, Natasha? Let me tell you. These cards, which are the Phonetic Zoo lesson cards, are only $15 on the Phonetic Zoo, I mean, on the IEW website. I will link them down below. These cards are truly all you need to implement the Phonetic Zoo spelling program, but the parent, you, must be involved if you go this budget-friendly way. Now, IEW does sell a budget package that is $29, I believe, that includes these cards, the small, pers uh, the small little uh, zoo cards, and the teacher guide. However, you don't actually need the teacher guide because it is available for free online. And in my, my personal opinion, you don't really have to have the little zoo cards. Now, a lot of kids like them because they're kind of like an incentive or a reward for getting the list right. They get to add to their zoo. But if you are on a budget, you can go even cheaper and do $15 for these cards, which has everything you need for all your kids all the years. So how this works is these cards have on the front, they have um, the animal, what lesson it is, and examples of A, B, and C. Those are the different levels. A is typically third through fifth grade, B is typically sixth through eighth, and C is typically ninth through twelfth. However, there is free placement tests on the IEW website so you can place your child appropriately. Do not start Phonetic Zoo before around age nine. Really, I say fourth grade is the ideal time to start it, even though you could start it in uh, third grade when your child, if your child is nine, but you really do kind of want to wait till they're nine. I feel like um, it's just developmentally appropriate for them at that time. Here is the gold. On the back of these cards is literally everything you need to teach your child. So it has the rule and the jingle. So this week in lesson one, they're learning AI and AY. Now, in lesson one, for all the levels, they are learning this rule. And we have a jingle here for them to essentially memorize. If you're using the CDs, which is a more expensive option, this jingle will, re will be repeated to them over and over. But if you're using this budget-friendly option of just using these cards, you, as a teacher, would say this jingle over and over and have your child start to say it along with you. Now, the levels A, B, and C, again, you would use whatever level your child places into. So let's say they placed into level B. Then you would read to your child these words. They would write them down and you would go through all 15 words. At the end of writing the 15 words, you would have your student uh, check the spelling of their words. You could read out loud the spelling of the student if your child is an auditory learner. If they are a visual learner, you could actually give this to them and say, let's, let's go ahead and check your work, and they could check their own work. They also will rewrite the corrections of the words that you know they missed, when they're doing it with the CDs, they actually just rewrite the correct spelling of every single word. So you could do it either way, have them rewrite every single word or just the words that they missed. If they did not miss any, then the next day, uh, either way, the next day they would do the same exact test again until they get all of the words right for two days in a row. 
So that's the basic premise of Phonetic Zoo. Again, I go into a lot more detail about how this program works in my main Phonetic Zoo video, so I will link that. But essentially, the difference is, is you won't have the CD, so you won't have that independent nature of Phonetic Zoo, which so many love because their kids can do it independently. They can put the CD in, or if you buy the MP3s, they put headphones in, and it literally tells them the jingle, tells them the words, tells them the corrections, all of that. The parent really doesn't have to do anything. So if you want a more independent version, you, you have to get the CDs. But if you want the cheapest possible version possible, this is the way. So let's say you have a fourth grader, a seventh grader, and a 10th grader, and they're all doing spelling. Um, you could have them wherever they are at in these cards. You would just need to keep track of where each student is at. Also, your student would need to keep track of where they are. I have created a little template here. I will put a link down below. It's so basic, but basically what lesson they're on, what the rule is, the date they got 100% the first time, and then the second time. Now, Let's say they get 100% uh, today, which is February 8th, but then tomorrow they miss two words. Then we have to restart this. So then on the 10th, let's say they get 100% again, and then they also do the 11th, then they get to move on to the next list. So what you can do is you can laminate this or put it in a page protector, or put it in one of those sleeves you buy on Amazon, or you can just print out a new one all the time for your kid, either way. Um, you can use this to keep track, and then that way you can actually keep track of each kid, can be responsible for keeping track of where they are. But basically, this is all you need because it has all the words for level A, B, and C. You could have a level C student over here on lesson 28, and you could have a level B student over here in lesson 41, and you can have little Johnny just starting out, and they're on level A lesson one. I mean, it doesn't actually matter where the kids are because you can use this for all your kids. Now, you'll notice, that each of these has uh, more complicated words as the levels go up. So you might be wondering, well, this is only three levels, A, B, and C, so how could this span my kids from grade three all the way to grade 12? Well, the answer to that is, is essentially when they have gone through all of these levels successfully, then they're done with spelling. They don't need any more spelling instruction. Now, IAW does offer an advanced spelling uh, program, which is um, very specific, um, has like Bible words, Greek words, Latin words, um, different things like that if your kid just loves spelling. But this is all the spelling instruction a typical regular student would need. So once they have completed all three levels of the phonetic zoo, you don't have to do spelling anymore. So for example, my daughter who is in sixth grade is in, uh, she just actually started level C. So level C could take her a whole year. It could take her over a year. Um, it could take her less than a year to get through, but we'll just work through level C. And when she is done with level C, she'll be done. So that means she'll finish her spelling um, instruction in middle school, which I think is pretty typical for a lot of kids. However, some kids will take this well into high school if they are struggling learners, and that is okay. You meet the kid wherever they are at. But for $15, you really can't beat it. So let me show you another couple examples. Let's see, here is lesson 28. And we see some A, B, and C. We've got the baboon and the fruit fly. And we have the, uh, the jingle here and the A, B, and C. So essentially what you're doing is if you're starting in level A, you go through every lesson, all the level A words. So you would do, you know, lesson one, level A, lesson two, level A, lesson three, level A. Again, they have to get every single word right two days in a row 
to move on to the next lesson. So to move on from lesson 29, they would have to get all these words correct two days in a row, and then they get to move on to lesson 30. Once they have done all of the lessons, and I think there's 47 lessons, if I'm remembering correctly, yeah, 47 lessons. After they've done all 47 lessons of level A correctly, there is a final test. Once they pass the final test, they can then move on to level B. And then they would start on level, lesson one, level B. And they would work through all 47 lessons of level B. Then they would take the final test and then they would move on to level C. They would do all 47 lessons of level C. And then they'd be done spelling uh, after the final test. So that's how that works. It goes all the lessons level A, pass that. All the lessons level B, pass that. All the lessons level C. But do give your child the placement test. If your child doesn't place into this, even if they are third grade or older, IEW does recommend um, all about spelling, but you could do another spelling program if you prefer. But uh, once your child is at this level, approximately third, fourth grade level, this will give them all the spelling instruction they need. You can't say like, well, how long is it gonna take my child to get through these uh, lessons? Because it really is so dependent on the child. So, but basically this is all the spelling instruction your child needs for $15, can't beat that. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below as well as the video on my Phonetic Zoo spelling board and the Phonetic Zoo spelling program as a whole to give you more information. So these links, uh, the link for this that I'm gonna put is an IEW affiliate link. That just gives me a little uh, bit of money for you using my link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but I do appreciate it. I share products from IEW that I love and use myself, and I hope you will too. So thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.